Coming up, neighbor helping neighbor. California has answered the call to aid in the response to fires in the West and Hurricane Harvey. Now with Hurricane Irma aiming toward Florida, what happens next? It's really our responsibility to support our other states when they've got these kinds of events. Find out how California balances assisting other states while keeping enough resources back at home and where training is done to be ready even before the request is made on this edition of Inside Look. Fall is almost here and temperatures usually start cooling down, but recent heat waves across California are making this feel like a never ending summer. Californians are flocking to rivers and lakes throughout the state. And without one of these jackets, you might need one of those guys. It was here on a warm sunny day in May that members of the Sacramento City Fire Department navigated swift moving rapids down the American River to practice vital training techniques. We're always training for that, that sudden, no notice, sudden event where it's a, a fast rising water event where maybe people are trying to evacuate because the dam broke, because it's flooding, the levee broke, whatever that situation might be, and they're trying to evacuate. Just three months later, those skills were called upon some 1,900 miles away to aid in the response of one of the worst hurricanes to hit the U.S. in the past decade. Hurricane Harvey ravaged southeast Texas, displacing thousands and setting new rainfall records. Back in May, the swift water training was executed for this exact type of scenario. The Sacramento Fire Department, OES, FEMA USAR, uh, we respond to these high, high water events, we'll call them, whether it's floods from hurricanes or massive storms that we've seen over, the, over this last winter. Um, these are the teams that are going to respond to the incidents. When Harvey made landfall, eight urban search and rescue teams were deployed from California to Texas within a three-day span. A follow-up request from the state of Texas launched two additional swift water teams to join the response efforts. Swift water teams from Ventura County and Long Beach City conducted waterborne wide area search operations. ATVs and canine teams were also used to search for victims, and teams performed welfare checks on residents still living in flooded areas. Almost always we have to come back, even if the flood recedes, and go to those houses and make sure that no one was left behind, nobody was found uh, that still needed help, or that their condition changed from being okay two or three days ago, now they're in trouble and they were out of food and water or had some medical emergency or something else happened. As searches and cleanup were ongoing for Harvey, another potentially devastating hurricane was forming in the Atlantic. Irma, a Category 5 hurricane and its projected 180 mile per hour winds threatened to pound Florida and nearby islands. While work continued in Texas, California was prepared to reshift personnel to the east to respond to Irma when called upon. It's not uncommon, it hasn't been unheard of to have three or four hurricanes come in you know, within pretty close proximity time-wise and have the systems scrambling to meet each of the scenarios and always keep capability back here in California. So what's left? How does California assist two states in response to hurricanes and also keep enough resources here in reserve in the event of a disaster back home? Are we still protected? Managing those resources and requests is often a delicate task. Our job here at the Office of Emergency Services is to constantly manage uh, resources and what we call drawdown. We look at all of the events that are currently taking place within the state, across the country, and around the world. Uh, we look at what requests are made for uh, to us from other locations, and we're constantly balancing um, the number of resources available to the needs that, that there are. For now, Californians watch from afar, hoping for the best for those already affected in Texas and for those in the path of another devastating hurricane in Florida. In time, the phone will ring again, a request will be made, and California will answer the call, just as another state will do, the same for Californians when needed. In this effort of one team, one fight, as a national system, a national mutual aid system, um, it's really our responsibility to support our other states when they've got these kinds of events, as they would support us if we were to have a major earthquake or another kind of event here. That's it for this week's Inside Look. For all of us here at Cal OES, I'm Jonathan Goodell. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.